Hi, I'm Natalia from the Intelica Technology Consortium. Today, I'm excited to walk you through what's new in Intelica 14.0. I bet you have already noticed the first spectacular improvement I would like to highlight. The introduction of a dark theme. We received numerous requests from our members for this feature, and we are thrilled to deliver. The dark theme modernizes the product's look and feel and helps reduce eye strain and fatigue. We have updated the color scheme for the ribbon tabs, toolbars, menu bar, palettes, and over 150 icons to ensure good visibility in both dark and light themes. While dark is now the default, you can also choose from light or gray themes. We will continue improving the dark theme in future releases, but we hope you enjoy the new look in 14.0. Another amazing feature is from the API. The new VLisp command launches Visual Studio Code with the IntelliCAD Lisp debugger extension, which allows you to create, debug, and test Lisp code. Do you want more information about this feature? A separate in-depth video is coming. Sign up for the IntelliCAD YouTube channel and stay tuned. Let's continue with other API enhancements. Four new Lisp functions can be used to emulate the properties pane using Lisp. Dump all properties, get property value, set property value, and is property read only. Let's review how they work. The dump all properties function returns all available properties and their values for the specified entity. Here's the signature of the dump all properties function. The get property value function retrieves the current value of a specified property of an entity. Here is the signature of the get property value function. The set property value function sets the property value for a specified entity. Here is the signature of the set property value function. And the isPropertyReadOnly function checks the entity's property is read only or not. And the signature of the isPropertyReadOnly function is here. And the return value could be 1 if property is read only or 0 if property is writable. Please note that in IntelliCAD 14.0, VBA is disabled by default to enhance overall performance. To enable VBA, set the V enabled system variable to 1. Let's move to the mText and table functionality, and I would like to start with the QR code support of multiline text and leaders. Yes, QR codes are everywhere, and IntelliCAD 14.0 can work with and create them using the new QR text and QR leader commands. Let's start with the QR text command. The process of using the QR text command is the same as for the mText command and the entity type is multi-line text. The only difference is the representation that is controlled by the new optically scannable field value at the properties pane. It reflects the status of the mText and can be used to convert the QR code back to the regular mText and vice versa. Two additional fields are available only for QR coded text. The optical hint field lets you specify the type of data, like email, phone, vCard, etc., that QR scanners will recognize. The optical image size field controls the size of the QR code. Now let's scan the created QR code. The QR leader command is very similar, except the QR code is added for the M text of a leader. Autofill is now supported in tables. You can quickly populate cells based on a sequence or pattern by selecting the data and dragging the grip in the lower right corner, just like in Excel. The new mText auto stack system variable controls auto stacking for the mText command. Auto stacking is disabled when set to zero, and auto stacking is enabled when set to one. You can control this system variable through the command line or using the Enable AutoStacking checkbox in the AutoStack Properties dialog. Data extraction has been improved with a new filter option. 
You can now include only entities currently in use by selecting the Display Entities Currently in Use Only checkbox. Now let's move to the new additions for IntelliCAD versions that support working with BIM files. IntelliCAD 14.0 supports Autodesk Revit 2025, RVT, and RFA file formats. A new flip option is available when create straight walls to change their orientation. And you can use new grips for architectural spaces to edit their contours. Next, a new user interface features. You can now detach drawings into separate windows for multi-monitor use. and dock them back when needed. In the Detached command window, you can adjust the transparency when it's undocked and also on mouse over events by using the new transparency dialog available in the context menu. In the tool palettes, you can insert text to visually organize your tools into groups. Next, we will look at existing dialog enhancements. The new status bar settings button was added to the user preferences tab in the options dialog and opens the status bar settings dialog where you can control the display and settings of the status bar. The edit drawing scales dialog now includes an option to set the current scale by double clicking or using the new set current button. Also several new system variables were added. The temp overrides system variable toggles on and off the orthogonal locking and auto snap magnet functions when the shift key is pressed while working on a drawing. The anascale pane mode system variable controls how left and right mouse clicks are used for the annotation scales list item in the status bar. By default, the left click opens the scale list and the right click opens the edit drawing scales dialog. When set to 1, this behavior is reversed. And the final enhancement to the user interface is the inclusion of the Snap UI Display System variable to the Drawing Settings dialog, Entity Snaps tab. Free access of the Bing Maps for basic free license holders was discontinued on June 30, 2025. And for members using the geo command, support for ESRI maps, imagery, streets, light gray, dark gray, and open street map was added to IntelliCAD 14.0. Please note that this feature is not backward compatible with earlier versions. The new surf sculpt command creates a three-dimensional solid by trimming and combining a set of surfaces and solids. The new Import DGN Options dialog provides new features for importing DGN files, including view number, entity conversion, entity associativity, line weights, and more. Also, in IntelliCAD 14.0, you can import SVG files. Next, let's review some enhancements to existing functionality. You can use table entities as a cutting edge in the Trim command. For the stretch and polar stretch actions in advanced blocks, the new C polygon option was added. Overkill command now supports text, multi-line text, rays, infinite lines, and hatches. The new QC decimal separator system variable specifies the decimal separator type used in the quick calculator period when set to 0 and localized system version when set to 1. The new proxy information dialog displays when a proxy is created. The appearance of this dialog is controlled by the proxy notice system variable. The PDF Publish Options dialog now includes an option to control the name of a PDF file when publishing to PDF. When the Prompt for Name checkbox is unchecked, the file is saved using the name in the File Name field, and the Publish Sheets to PDF dialog box appears if the Prompt for Name checkbox is checked. The UI theme system variable is renamed to the color theme and sets the visual theme to dark when set to 0, to light when set to 1, and gray when set to 2. We are always looking for ways to improve saving your work. 
The new iSafe count system variable is now available to manage the number of incremental saves before a full save is performed. Also, if saving a drawing to an inaccessible path, for example with a lost network connection, a copy of a drawing is saved automatically in the user's Documents My Program Emergency Save Drawings folder. And the last but not least, let's review some performance improvements. The copy to clipboard command is now 30 times faster, while the break command is 12 times faster. Overall performance improvements are noticeable when using the move, view, and union commands. Entity snapping is refactored for improved stability and performance. Additionally, performance enhancements have been made for the get current view and set current view functionalities in the .NET API, as well as when using grips to stretch a large number of overlapping lines. Before I go, I also want to mention these other enhancements. Please review the release notes for more details. This is all I have for now. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment below. And thank you for watching this video.